much to explore I can't wait to step outside and see what's in store Cause anything could happen with the world at my feet Journey begins With Buckle Up Elementary Okay, little buddies. We didn't lose anyone out at recess now, did we? Actually, Mr. Rusty, we're all teammates now. Teammates, huh? Yeah, we wanted to talk to you about maybe getting some new uniforms or something. <laughs> we'll have to look into that, little buddies. In the meantime, I want to hear all about this new team of yours. Well, you see, we were at recess playing tug of war, and then one side didn't have as many players as the other side, and... Uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> well, hello there, buddy. You're a little early. I am? Hmm. I may have to recalibrate my time machine. Whoa! You have a time machine? You can travel to the future? No, dudes. My watch. <laughs> okay, class. This is Jay the Science Dude. He's here today to teach you all about science. I'm going to turn the class over to him now. Okay, dudes. You have any questions about science before we get started? Why do I stay on a merry-go-round without flying off? Centripetal force and the inertia of motion. How does an ice cube melt into water? The addition of heat energy changes its form, but not its chemical composition. Why does static electricity make my hair stand up? Extra electrons sparked from a charged surface makes lightweight matter such as your hair stand on end. <sighs> wow! These kids are pretty sharp. Four little earthlings. Hey, how about we sing a little song I wrote for you guys to give you an idea of what all science means to me. Ever wonder why the sky is blue? What well, makes your ears pop at certain altitudes? Curious where rocks and mountains get their shape? Or how come cotton candy always disintegrates? There's a bunch of different places you can look But the answers all come in your science book You can learn about everything under the sun And Jay the Science Dude makes it lots of fun Yeah! Geology's working! She just grows on you Archaeology takes you back Astronomy is far out Physics is just plain cool Anyway, you bring it down Science totally rules Science totally rules Just like sonar devices on a submarine At the location Uses sound to see laws of motion and tools they're meant to explain what makes objects act and react in a certain way. You got natural and physical behavioral, and there's even social and political. There's an element of science in everything we do, and so many different ways to be science to you. Grows on you. Archaeology takes you back. Astronomy is far out. Physics is just plain cool. Anyway, you break it down. Science totally rules. Science totally rules. 
clothes and jeans. You got experiments and environments, principles and theories. You got molecules and variables, observations and hypotheses. You got balance and equilibrium. Don't forget relativity. <laughs> no matter how you break it down, science totally rules. Dude. How do you know so much? Well, I've always been fascinated with the world around me. And I discovered early on something called the scientific method. What's that? Scientific. The scientific method is the process of collecting data through observation and experimentation, then formulating and testing a hypothesis. Whoa, who are you? Oh. That's Sigmund. Wow, that's rad. Hi, Sigmund. I'm Jay the Science Dude. Nice to meet you. Would you like to hear a joke? Totally. How many scientists does it take to change a light bulb? Hmm, well, let's see. If you took into account the number of theoretical scientists, each applying the proper amount of force propagated along the lever arm, creating the desired torque, I don't have a conclusion. One, in theory. Sigmund tells the weirdest jokes. Oh, I get it. Scientists, theories. So, Sigmund, I have an idea. Maybe you can help us put together a science fair. Splendid! Wow, we've never had a science fair before. No? Well then, you're in for a treat. What do you say we pair you all up and figure out some cool science projects for you? You mean into teams? Yeah! Ooh! Oh, wow! Let's start with you two. Tell us why you chose this project and what your project is all about. Well, um, go ahead, Pumpkin. Since me and my family all get sheared twice a year, I wanted to learn to create a new way to keep warm until our wool grows back. And I'm getting tired of always eating raw fish. So we thought it would be cool to learn how to make a solar oven. This is a very simple device. It can be created using three basic materials. A box, tin foil, and most important, sunlight. The energy from the sun reflects off the tin foil, which increases the pressure inside the box. That's what causes it to heat up whatever is inside. That was totally thermal, dudes! Okay, dudes. What do we have going on here? Well, I've had to really learn to pay attention to how hard I play because I seem to weigh more than, well, all my friends put together. And I'm always having to calculate swinging speeds and jumping distances to get from one tree to another. So we decided to do an experiment demonstrating a concept called torque, which is best explained with the use of a seesaw. Torque allows us to use distance to create strength. See what happens when I try to lift Buckalope up on my own. So heavy. Okay, now see what happens when I use torque to try to lift Buckalope up. 
What we determined is that you can get what appears to be superhero strength with the help of torque. And that's physics. Whoa! Hey, check it out! Now I'm using friction to hang on to the ceiling. But torque allows my body to swing back and forth. Let's me act like a total monkey. Whoa, that was heavy. Okay, dudes. What do we have going on here? Well, Smirk and I both have extra sensitive hearing, which helps us use sound to figure out where things are. So, we thought it would be cool to demonstrate something called the Doppler effect, which shows what happens to a sound's tone when it is moving. Shh! Does anyone hear that whistle? Notice how, as the train's whistle moves closer, the noise gets louder. We are able to tell the direction of the sound source movement due to the fact that we have two ears. In other words, we hear in stereo. This is how animals survive in nature, by using echolocation. Whoa, dude, that was sonic. Which one do you like best? Dude, so, how'd you like doing these science fair projects? Well, I enjoyed learning how to be responsible for handling steam and fire. I liked teaming up with Charles. We had a lot of fun working on this together, learning all about inertia and the laws of motion. Whoa! Oops. Well, I think I have a better understanding of why cats and rabbits are so sensitive to our environment. <laughs> Anybody have any more questions for Jay the Science Dude before he leaves? Yes. What kind of careers are there in science? <laughs> yeah. Funny you should ask that. Science rules.